our first parallel park is going to be executed behind another vehicle. Once you've identified your parking space, ignite your right turn signal no less than 100 feet away. Pull up alongside the vehicle you'll be parking behind and leave a space of about 2 to 3 feet between you. Stop your vehicle no further than when your rear tire is in line with their rear bumper. Once stopped, shift your vehicle into reverse. Turn your steering wheel all the way to the right. Check your blind spots and then slowly back up until you are at a 45 degree angle with the vehicle in front of you. While the car is in motion, make sure you're looking out the back window. From a stop, turn your steering wheel all the way to the left. Continue to back the vehicle up with a nice steady pace, stopping no more than a foot away from the curb. Once you are safely in the space, if necessary, straighten the vehicle. There should be a margin of safety between you and the vehicles around you. Once the car is stopped, shift into park and engage the parking brake. Our next method of parallel parking will be using cones. Once you've identified your parking space, ignite your right turn signal no less than 100 feet away. Pull up alongside the cones 2 to 3 feet away. Stop the car no further than when your rear tire is aligned with the front set of cones. Once stopped, shift your vehicle into reverse. Turn your steering wheel all the way to the right. Check your blind spot and then slowly back up until your vehicle is at a 45 degree angle from the cones in front of you. While the car is in motion, make sure you're looking out the back window. From a stop, turn your steering wheel all the way to the left. Continue to back the vehicle up with a nice steady pace, stopping no more than a foot away from the curb. Once in the space, if necessary, straighten the vehicle, leaving a margin of safety between you and the cones around you. Once the car is stopped, shift into park and engage the parking brake. Mm -hmm.